the video is of me having my weekly two hour contact with Beth. It's talking to her and holding her hand through a hatch in a, in a cell door. What was that? I could hold a hand, I could stroke a face, I could kiss a goodbye on a cheek and I could talk. To have to kneel down and, and talk to your child like that not because she's a criminal, but because she's autistic and unsupported, is, is utterly horrific. It's, it's degrading. Now I don't even have that. Now there is no hatch. Bethany has autism. At 15, she was sectioned under the Mental Health Act after she was deemed a risk to herself and others. But the care didn't prepare Bethany for community-based support. And when she was released, she simply couldn't cope. Bethany and Jeremy would like Beth's face shown in these photos, but neither has the right as she is under state care. So people send things and I get everything from, from lovely cards with jokes in. Jeremy was forced to take NHS England, St Andrews Healthcare and his local authority to court. They have now all accepted that they failed in their duty of care and have made changes to improve the care of people with autism. Despite this, Beth has now been moved to a unit that's even more restrictive than the one where she was held before. This is not because of what Bethany has done, but because of what they feel she might do. Beth is locked away. It is a cell. There's no furniture in that room. There is a four-inch thick mattress on the floor that she sleeps on. There's, there's not a window that she can see out of. When it comes to feeding Beth, Beth has to move to the end of the room, sit on the floor behind a line, only then will they open the door, slide her food in, and then quickly lock the door again. This is 21st century Britain. Absolutely. That's like feeding a vicious dog. My daughter is not an animal. Hi, Beth. How are you? Are you going to sing for me? I'm a bit the greatest showman. Greatest showman. Some people long for a life that is simple and planned. Tied with a ribbon. That's, that's brilliant. Jeremy is only allowed to see his daughter for a couple of hours once a week, but he Good. can speak to her on the phone every day. So it's cool. Prince and princess twin baby set. It looks, feels and smells just like a real baby. Poor, are you sure you want something that smells like a real baby? It'll give you some company. It'll give you some company? Yeah. Uh, oh, Beth. The unit where Beth is being held accepts it's unsuited to her needs and she needs to be moved. A report into the failure of Bethany's care now sits on the health secretary's desk. It makes more than 80 recommendations. We are just being placated with review after review after review. That needs to stop. Matt Hancock needs to make the changes that his report says are needed. Beth is being failed because of a lack of availability of community placements. She is being failed because of a lack of people with the right training, with the right skills. We asked Matt Hancock for an interview but was told he was not available. His department confirmed that they have received the review and we're looking at it closely. NHS England has told Sky News it's working with Bethany and her family to agree and manage an ongoing plan for her care. When was the last time you were able to put your arms around your daughter? Weeks ago. How did that feel? If I'd have known it was going to be the last time, I wouldn't have let her go. She begs to have her hand held like she used to be able to do in St Andrews. We can't, there isn't a hatch now. Jeremy has bought Bethany the dolls she wants. They might bring her some comfort, but they can never replace the warm embrace of a loving father. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.